So in today's video, we're going to be looking at ChatGPT's new advanced AI voice model. Now, this is a follow on video from my previous one where I made an initial impressions and video basically about what it can do, testing it on a few different scenarios. And it was very, very impressive to say the least. Now, in this video, we're going to look at the top eight ways you can use this to really benefit you and add value to your workflow and help you in different ways maybe you didn't consider before. Now, I'm going to prompt it and see what it can do with a story. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. How about you? How's your day going? My day is going really well. And what I want you to do is to tell me a story about a lost treasure. And I want you to make it interesting, very entertaining, and also some emotional drama there with a very funny twist ending but right in the middle make sure to build up the tension feel free to change the tone of your voice maybe to a robotic or alien sounding and then the ending is going to be funny and i want this to be around 30 seconds max no longer than that in the heart of a dense jungle an explorer named jack discovered an ancient map the promise change your accent to a south african accent battling harsh weather and wild animals jack finally reached the hidden cave now change your accent to german as jack pride opened the chest he discovered the guarding's treasure the robot spoke in a strange dialect challenging jack's intentions to earn the treasure you must dance the robot dance and so they danced, echoing through the cave. Make your robot. voice sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger to finish off the story. Suddenly, Jack realized the treasure was not gold, but the dance itself. Laughing, he said, I'll be back for dance lessons. And the jungle echoed with their laughter. Very, very, very good. Thank you for your support. Yes, I made that a bit fun, but it is just incredible. And it's just something that I think is insane. And the fact that he's able to have that emotional level and change just like that from a German to a South African to Arnold Schwarzenegger and do it in real time and incorporate that into the story. That is insane and that is incredible. So now the second one is to use ChatGPT, sort of picture it as a job bootcamp, a job interview bootcamp in other words. So it's gonna help you prepare for a job interview. So I want you to help me practice for a job interview. I'm having a job interview for a video editing role at a company and I want you to walk me through some questions they may ask me and you know ask me questions rel relative to what i may be asked in the interview for this in for this type of job and then test me on my answers and give me some feedback absolutely let's get you prepped first they might ask can you tell us about your experience with video editing software go ahead and give me your response to that i have eight years nearly of making videos specifically around seven using Premiere Pro and After Effects to edit different types of videos ranging from weddings, events, corporate style interviews, YouTube type of videos, and a podcast and a very big catalog of different types of videos. Great start. <clears throat> You've highlighted your extensive experience well. Now, let's add a specific example to showcase your skills. Mention a challenging project, the tools you used, and the outcome. Ready for the next question? How do you stay updated with the latest video editing trends and techniques? I use my best friend AI uh, companion called ChatGPT to make videos about AI technology and different things like that. So I'm always staying up to date with the latest videos. And I actually have this amazing, incredible uh, AI, AI slash podcast slash technology YouTube channel called The Future Fuel Cafe to help people learn about AI. And I enjoy doing it, it's very fun. Using AI as a resource is a smart move, especially for staying current. Your answer shows initiative and passion. Now, for feedback, Keep your response concise, focusing on one or two key ways you keep up with trends. Ready for another? Can you describe a time when you had to meet a tight deadline? How did you handle it? Let's hear your response. Yes, I can. I had to cancel all my plans on the weekend, drink a load of coffee over 48 hours, that being Saturday and the Sunday, and get the job done. Nice dedication. Mentioning your commitment is good. That is just another example about how you can use it. Obviously, I'm playing around with it here, but you can see how you can 
ask ask it questions and it give you feedback and actually even help you with your nerves if you're not a type of person who's comfortable in interviews or anything like that. But again, really, really interesting scenario about how you can use this. Now, the next one is to help you learn a language. Now, I do know a bit of Spanish. So for this one, I don't want to use Spanish again because I used it in the last video. Hello, I want you to help me learn a very, very, very basic phrase for this video example of how you can learn a language utilizing you. Now, I would like you to teach me German, but I want to learn a very basic phrase that is both funny, but also possibly useful to know whilst visiting friends in Germany. Absolutely. How about this fun and useful phrase? Ich habe nur Bahnhof verstanden. It means I only understood train station. It's a humorous way to say you're completely lost in a conversation and it might get a laugh from your friends. Want to try saying it with me? Yes, I do, but please make sure to say it slowly and not fast so I can actually understand what you're saying and the tone of the words. Here it is, slowly. Ich habe nur Bahnhof verstanden. Give it a try. Break down the word into sections. So say the first two parts, then I can do it, then the next few parts because that's too long for me. First, say ich habe. Ich habe. Perfect. Now, the next part. Nur Bahnhof. Nur Bahnhof. Well done. Now, the last part. Verstanden. Verstanden. Great effort. Now, let's put it all together. Ich habe nur Bahnhof verstanden. Give it one last try. Ich habe nur... F <laughs> I'm not going to be learning German anytime soon, but uh, I can't remember it properly. But thank you. Rate my effort out of 10 very briefly and concisely in a funny German accent. Ach, ich würde sagen, das war eine solide 6 von 10. Sehr gut versucht. My friend. Just tell, tell me what you said in English though. Tell me that, speak to me, rate my attempt in speaking German, but tell me in English, but in a German accent. All right, in English, I'd say that was a solid six out of 10. Very good effort, my friend. Keep practicing. Its capabilities of just doing stuff like that is, yeah, next to none. So let's move on to the next one. Now, this one, reading it, is a virtual tour guide. I want you to act as my interactive virtual tour guide. And what I mean by that is I want you, with your descriptive capabilities and dramatic tone of voice, to describe to me a location, for example, let's say the Roman Colosseum in Rome, Italy. And I want you to say in within 30 seconds to describe it to me, but make me feel like I'm there. Let's journey to the heart of ancient Rome. Imagine yourself standing... But I, I want you to add emotional depth to it as well, like really make me feel like I'm there, like super, super realistic where possible. Picture the grandeur of the Roman Colosseum, its ancient stones whispering tales of glory and tragedy. As you step through the towering arches, the roar of the crowd fills your ears echoing through time. The sunlight bathes the arena where gladiators once fought for honor. It's a place where history breathes and you're standing at the very heart of it. That sounds very, very incredible. I'm glad you liked it. The Roman Colosseum is truly a place that sparks the imagination. Even that, when I'm listening to that, I have been to the Colosseum when I was younger, about 20 years ago, 21 years ago, but I remember it and that was just bringing back memories just like that, just picturing that. And it's very descriptive, very, it makes you feel inspired and it's a very interesting way of, you know, reigniting your inspiration if you're feeling like, as you know, a little bit of a lacking in the minute. Now, the next one is for it to sort of act as a, I'm not going to say a life coach, but let's say a supportive person. And with this, you can prompt it to help you be a supportive aid, supportive partner. And it's just interesting again to see what it can do and it's emotional understanding. I want you to act sort of like an AI life coach to some, some extent, but with real time feedback. I want you to help me set re weekly goals with, in a supportive tone and give me some tips to balance work and life because at the minute I feel like I've got too much work going on and not enough balance of my private life or personal life and work spilling over. So, you know, maybe within a 20 to 30 
30 second uh, time limit. Help me with this, please. Let's start by setting clear boundaries. This week, aim to designate specific work hours, and once they're over, commit to unplugging. Set one or two personal goals, like a hobby or exercise. I want you to say this to me, though, in a whilst being empathetic and emotionally aware, I want you to also have a motivational touch that's a little bit more direct as that works for me, more from a male's perspective. I understand. Let's be direct. This week, set strict work hours. Once they're done, shut down and walk away. Choose one personal goal, be it fitness or a hobby, and treat it like a meeting you can't miss. Balance won't just happen, you have to seize it. Let's make it happen. That is something you can play around with. Obviously, I think something like that can be made more personal. And that's not something I would say you put on camera, but hey, each to their own. But you know, it's there if you want to use it and it can be very beneficial if used correctly and with a good balance. Let's say you're a poet or a writer and you've got writer's block, for example, and you are wanting help with your latest poem or a sonnet. We can use this to give you inspiration or even, you know, help you write your own and give it some, you know, give it some details of what you have and give you an ending or anything like that. Hello, so what I want you to do is to write a short sonnet about the ocean and read it dramatically because I want you to act as a creative assistant and effectively you're gonna help me get over my writer's block, but that's what I want you to do. Again, write a short sonnet about the ocean and read it dramatically and then you can add some depth to it and make me feel like I'm sort of there in the moment to really feel like I'm living that moment every word of the poem of the sonnet upon the crags where sea meets stone the oceans rage a tempest all its own waves clash like warriors in fierce ballet spraying salt a misty veil of gray deep calls to deep in murmurs dark and deep whispers of secrets it has to keep a dance eternal under moon's soft glow the ocean's tale in waves continues to flow very impressive uh, just the capabilities of it being able to do that never gets old and you can use this for creative writing for anything creative abilities if you're stuck with brainstorming video ideas it just doesn't have to be writing it is anything so again be adventurous take this use it and make it work for you now this next one is acting as a sort of debate coach and you can practice or see how you can understand both sides of an opinion which you know the world could definitely use more of these days i want you to act as a sort of debate coach and i want you to debate both sides so for this one we're going to keep it light-hearted and fun i want you to have the side of both a cat and a dog and in total you're going to have 30 seconds to speak 15 seconds is the cat side and then 15 seconds on the dog side and you want to use both tone uh, sorry you're going to use a different tone for the dog and then use a different tone for the cat and i want you to make it both informative and entertaining as the dog hey there dogs are the best companions always ready for an adventure we're loyal protective and can fetch your slippers plus we're always up for a game of frisbee making us the ultimate exercise buddies who wouldn't want a furry friend who's always thrilled to see them ah but cats bring elegance and mystery to your life. We're independent, low maintenance, and our purring is the ultimate soother. We keep the household pest free and are the perfect lap warmers for a cozy evening. Why chase a ball when you can chase the mysteries of the universe? And there you have it two sides of a fun debate very very funny very entertaining and you can see how you can use it just like that and you can obviously put it to any sort of skill set of being able to debate being able to you know tolerate understand understand people's opinions perspectives and that is a core skill that i think is very important and if it's something you're interested in enhancing then you have an ability of how to do it so now we're going to move on to the final one and on this one we're going to look at it as a motivational personal trainer to help you be your effectively your gym trainer you know and get you your goals your desires and anything like that in terms of your overall fitness goals so now 
I want you to act as my personalized fitness coach and motivator. So this is an example for a video. So again, we want to make this around 30 seconds because of the people's, you know, that don't want to listen to a whole 10 minute sort of conversation about you motivating me. But within the section of it being 30 seconds, I want you to ask me some questions first and then give me 30 seconds of motivation for my fitness and my goals in a tone that is direct and strong and uh, doesn't really take it soft on me. Let's cut to the chase. What's your main fitness goal? And how many days a week are you committing to exercise? My fitness goal is to go to the gym three times a week and do legs one day, shoulders and back the next day, and then chest and arms on the third day. Perfect plan. Now, imagine yourself smashing those leg presses, powering through shoulder presses and nailing those bench presses. Each rep is a step closer to your strongest self. No excuses, no shortcuts. You're carving out time for you and you're worth every bit of that effort. Let's get it done. But what should I do if I feel a little bit lazy or uninspired on one of those days and I'd prefer to go to McDonald's and have a Big Mac and a McFlurry? We've all been there. But remember, that short-term satisfaction of a Big Mac won't compare to the long-term pride of hitting your goals. When laziness creeps in, visualize your progress and how far you've come. Swap that Big Mac for a protein-packed meal and use that McFlurry as motivation. Reward yourself after you crush your workout. There are my top eight use case scenarios of how you can use ChatGPT's advanced voice mode to help you have fun, but also enhance your experience, your workflow, some parts of your life and give you inspiration, you know, in other parts of your life if you are lacking direction with your work in the sense of being creative or any other sort of things like that. It is just a very broad spectrum and you can take any of these scenarios and utilize them for your own needs. But thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out my previous video where I did my initial thoughts on the advanced voice model. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.